Hey, this is Daniel Kaiser for GTTV, once again discussing the science of video games with Dr. Michio Kako. Thanks so much for joining us. Glad to be on. Today we're discussing the PlayStation 3 exclusive Infamous, which is a series on Sony's console that introduces Cole, a character who is at the epicenter of this huge explosion and somehow gains the ability to have superpowers to interact with electricity. Talk a little bit about man's ability to manipulate weather. Well, we have something called a Faraday cage. That is, it's a metal cage. Inside, you're, you're warm as toast. But you could throw lightning bolts, gigantic lightning bolts at the cage, and you're protected. That's one reason why if a lightning bolt hits a car, you're pretty much safe if you're inside the car or if it hits an airplane. Now, if you have a metallic suit, a wire mesh suit, skin-tight suit that covers your body, in principle, you could get hit by a lightning bolt and not get fried in the process. However, the problem is throwing out the bolts. That's a problem. Electricity has a, a mind of its own. So you could point and, of course, have rays that come out that point, but where they wind up, you can't simply throw bolts of lightning, and of course, you would have to have an energy supply. And that's a problem with controlling the weather. A simple thunderstorm has the power of a hydrogen bomb. And so where do you get the power to manipulate these gigantic uh, uh, geologic forces? That's gonna be a problem. Now in chaos theory, we have an idea that even a butterfly could set off a storm if you hit the nodal points. If you are right there at the right point at the right time, then even a butterfly at a tipping point can create a thunderstorm. But if you're not at that tipping point, forget it, you just get wet. Uh, the CIA and during the Vietnam War tried to manipulate the weather by creating thunderstorms during monsoon season in order to drown out the Viet Cong. Uh, that was a failure. Many governments have tried to use silver iodide crystals to see the weather. It's very, very spotty success record. Basically, Mother Nature has still the last laugh when it comes to the weather. So in the sequel, Cole has access now to ice and the ability to manipulate that element. Talk a little bit about is that any easier than lightning? It sounds pretty difficult with lightning. So. It's difficult with lightning, it's difficult with ice because of the enormous energy that's required. Refrigeration equipment, for example, depends upon expanding gas. That's why we have refrigerators. You have pipes in your refrigerator, they expand. In the process, they get cold. That's why your pipes are cold inside your refrigerator. Now, to do that with an X-Men or to do that with a game uh, character is extremely difficult because we would have to have essentially coils, coils everywhere to cool down the air. And of course, that takes many minutes to hours to cool it down. So again, it boils down to one word, power. We simply don't have the power to manipulate the weather. Mother Nature does that because Mother Nature has clouds and gigantic masses of, of air to play with. Uh, we just have little superhuman bodies. So we've heard some examples throughout history of people being impacted by exposure to a lightning strike. What exactly happens in that scenario? Well, yes, some people have actually survived a direct hit by a lightning bolt, and you can actually see the scars as the pathway of the electricity went through their body. Uh, they survived because their heart was not stopped and their lungs were not stopped. That's what kills you. If, you're, if you see somebody in, a, in an electrical accident, they're not dead. They're still alive, but they're not breathing. Their heart's not, not beating. So what you do is first, if you see somebody with grabbing an electrical cable and he's electrocuted, take off your jacket grab his leg with your jacket and pull him off. Then give him mouth to mouth and, and direct uh, pressure on the chest. Because that's how electricity kills you, is the lack of breathing and the lack of the beating of the heart. So even if you're electrocuted, you're not dead yet. So in your professional opinion, out of all the things we talk about on the science of games, manipulating weather is probably the most far-fetched? Uh, in some sense, yeah, we could talk about time machines, we could talk about wormholes, there's a theory behind it, but there's no theory behind how you can manipulate the, the geologic forces around us. All right, well, it sounds like you'll have to do it as coal for the time being, but we appreciate your insight as always. For the latest on Infamous and all your favorite video game franchises, just head on over to GameTrailers.com.